All right, diggers, I'm uh, back at my lucky park and I'm uh, working this strip and I started, you can kind of see that chunk of asphalt right there laying on the grass, that's where I started. And I've come this far and I've dug two memorials and a zincan. And I just had a signal not even five inches deep and it was a um, 636 but it had a high pitch and it's another Indian head I can't believe it I haven't gone 10 feet maybe 20 feet and I've already hit an oldie and, and you want to know something that really, really is interesting? I have worked this strip of grass no less than four times with my Ace 250. I, I remember working this many times last fall uh, because the soil here is so nice and dark and so I know that this strip has really been undisturbed, you know, for a hundred years. And uh, 1899 is that Indian head. That is my 10th Indian head with this E-Track. I've gotten an Indian head every time I've gone out with it. Just blows my mind. All right, on to the next. Hey diggers, check it out. I'm still working along this uh, sidewalk. Here's uh, that chunk of asphalt. And I worked my way down just past that telephone pole. And I came back here and started going this way. And I got a really funky signal. It's a nail, and, and that's obviously silver. Silver earring, or maybe gold, I don't know. I haven't even looked for a mark yet. Uh, I'll look at it a little bit later and let you know. All right, on to the next. Okay, I've been going for, you know, it's been, I don't know, an hour and a half, and I found quite a bit of clad along this strip. Um, and I've just found my second weedy. The other weedy didn't look that old, but this one's a little bit older. Looks like 1929, maybe. Okay, on to the next. Hey diggers, I'm over here by the World War I Memorial. I'm still in this park of mine, and I just got the coolest little find. I thought it was an Indian head, that's what it was ringing up as, but it's a token. It's in really good shape. I wonder if it's made of the same stuff. It looks like it's dated 1933, I'm not sure. It's real lightweight though. All right, well, this is a good find. All right, on to the next. All right, diggers, I'm um, here in this park that was uh, founded in 1946, but there's some really old houses across the street. I've been here an hour and I ain't hardly found a damn thing, but I'm over here by the sidewalk. <laughs> And I got a signal about four inches down. It sounded like an Indian head to me, so I dug it. And I'll be darned if that isn't what it is. I have found an Indian head every hunt this year. Looks like 1880-something. I'm just blown away because... This, this park wasn't giving me anything, a couple modern uh, pennies, but nothing even deep. And then I get over here and boom, I hit an Indian. Just blows my mind. All right, on to the next. Morning, diggers. Oh, it's windy today. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm back at my park and I'm actually on the other side here. And I've been here maybe five minutes and I'm working the strip here. There's my car. 
uh, between the sidewalk and the street and I just started at this tree right here and I've never worked this section before and uh, I, got, I had a clad dime about a minute ago and I just had a uh, 1347 at uh, 6 inches so I knew that was going to be a good signal and I dug down and I've got a silver and it's a mercury dime and this is going to be uh, silver number 7 for the year and uh, Is that a 1945? All right. Well, uh, I love it when you find something good right off the bat. Okay, on to the next. Okay, it's been about uh, 15 minutes, and I just got a weedy. Boy, this gave a crazy signal. I thought it was going to be a bottle cap, but I went ahead and dug it anyway. And now I'm glad I did. On to the next. All right, this was kind of a weird one. First, I pulled this uh, funky-looking uh, rifle, 22-round, wrong one, though. I don't know. It's an odd. It looks like it was for blanks because it's got a crimped edge. But uh, in the same hole... nineteen forty five D alright so uh, three old coins in the last half hour uh, on to the next alright it's been about fifteen seconds uh, in fact here's where I dug that uh, forty five weedy and I swept over here and I got a crazy signal I mean jumping all over the place uh, about five inches deep it's a very beat up Indian head penny I mean, it's in bad shape. It's got some iron cor corrosion on it, and yeah, I don't think this, this is pretty beat up. But it is another Indian head, so uh, have to get a date later. This this coin's pretty well toasted. On to the next. Hey diggers, check it out. Okay, here's where I found the 45 Weedy. Right here under this plug is where I found the Indian head. And I swept over here. You know what that means, don't you? 1246, about six inches, that's silver, baby. Here it is in the clod still. Oh, look how thick that is, too. Nice reading. That's, I'm going to guess a Merc. <laughs> a Rosie. <laughs> oh, man, 57. Well... I'll take it. It's silver. There's another $2.50 in melt. But uh, second silver today, and you can see I still got a lot of strip here to hunt. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. Uh, Indian head, a rosy, and a weedy all within about two feet. All right, on to the next. Hey diggers, man, I tell you what, these Wheaties are just ringing up crazy today. They're just jumping all over the place, and this one wasn't that deep, about three inches. All right, on to the next. All right, diggers, you know, I've been hunting this park since May 1st of last year, and I have found about 40 silver dimes. I don't know, six or seven Indian heads, lots of buffaloes, probably a dozen, but I've never found a silver quarter, ever. And as you can see, I'm still working this strip, and I'm almost to the end. Can you see my display? 11.45 at four inches. Finally! Ah.
right, diggers, that makes me happy. I finally got a silver quarter out of this park. And uh, this is actually my first silver quarter of the year. On to the next. Okay, I uh, hunted that uh, strip all along there and got three silvers out of that. Now I've turned the corner here. And uh, I have hunted this with the ace a couple times, but there you go. Looks like a 1924 weedy. All right, on to the next.